Here we have a coil where wires wrapped around many, many times, and a device here to measure electricity. This device is called a galvanometer. The needle will move either to the right or to the left, depending on which way electricity flows. I will start by taking the north side of the magnet, which is painted red, and move it into the coil. When I do this, the current flows in such a way that the needle moves to the right, but then stops. If I pull the magnet out, it moves the other way. The secret is to change the position of the magnet relative to the coil. That's when we get the current. If we stop moving, it doesn't matter where the magnet is, the current reduces to zero. The secret is the change. The change in the magnetic field set up by the magnet inside the coil. When the coil sees the magnetic field come and go, it responds. Now we're going to do an experiment that looks at the two poles of a magnet. The magnet consists of a north and south pole. On this magnet, the north pole is painted red, and the south pole is the clear, the clear color. Now, what I'm going to do is take the uh, north pole, the red, push it in, and notice that the needle moves to the right. When I pull the north pole out, the needle moves to the left. North pole in, north pole out. Watch what happens if I use the south pole. South pole in, south pole out, we have the opposite effect. South makes it move to the left. When I come out, it moves to the right. North pole moving in, moves to the right. When I come out, it moves to the left. To generate alternating current, we simply move the magnet back and forth periodically.